Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, going back to Houston, Tejas, uh, Spindle Tap Brewery. I probably, well, other than Jester King, probably my favorite Texas brewery because their beer is amazing. Uh, courtesy of my man Dustin. Uh, this is Justin Double IPA. This can art is amazing. So they do this 34 series, and this is, I guess, the Nolan Ryan one. Um, they do this, they do a beer called High Knees, which is Earl Campbell. He was number 34 for the Houston Oilers. And then they also did Hop Keem the Dream for 34 for Hakeem Olajuwon. I'm actually old enough to remember when he was Hakeem Olajuwon, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I think this is 8%. It doesn't say on the can. Eight, it's either 8 or 8.5. Eight I can't remember. Um, but a bunch of hops in this one. I remember when I got it, I looked it up. There's like five or six different hops. So, uh, yeah, this one was canned on April 6th. So we are five weeks old, time recording, six weeks old. Uh, and I'm actually okay with that. We reviewed a couple weeks ago um, Heavy Hands. And that beer was like quadruple dry hopped, I think. And it was a month old when I drank it. And it was <laughs> ridiculous still. So um, I'm not worried about the age of this beer. Um, Dustin also sent us spindle tap proper glassware. <laughs> like I have so much glassware, I need to like figure out what I'm gonna do with it and I keep getting more glassware. It's a strange addiction, so I appreciate that. Because we all know beer tastes better out of proper glassware. This uh, can art is actually really cool. It's the old Houston Astros jersey that Nolan Ryan used to wear when he was there. I really wanted this jersey when I was a kid. Um, and my dad always was like, we're Giants fans. You're not getting a fucking Astros jersey, which is kind of weird because these days I feel like kids just buy jerseys for their the players that they liked. I didn't even really like anyone on the Astros. I just liked the jersey. Um, and my dad was like, nope, not happening. So that was a struggle back then. Kids these days don't know that struggle because their parents just buy them whatever jerseys they want. Uh, so let's get to the beer. Super light. Looks like lemonade. Hazy lemonade. Uh, about a finger of like rocky off-white head. It's dissipating really, really quickly. Um, I will tell you that this beer is about three feet away from my face and I can smell it. So six weeks in the can or wherever we're, wherever we're at. Math is hard. This beer is going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. This is like a combination of orange, like peach and pineapple juice. It smells like a juice box. And again, I mean, I would I would venture to guess that this is heavily hopped, whether it's like double dry hopped or whatever it is. It's got that crazy aggressive, like chalky thing from the yeast um, and just an abundance of hops. This again, it reminds me, I think I said this in the Heavy Hands uh, review. It reminds me of like a really aggressive Modern Times beer. I don't know if they use the same yeast. I'm not sure. I just, when I drink these hazy beers from Spindle Tap, it reminds me of drinking hazy beers from Modern Times. There's a good amount of sweet orange. There's even like a little mango-y thing in there. I mean, it just smells like a bunch of different fruits. It does. It smells, <laughs> juice box, Capri Sun, something like that. That's what that smells like. So let's go ahead and taste it, Dustin. Cheers. Thank you, sir. It's crazy how soft the mouthfeel of this beer is. Wow. That kind of threw me off. Um, we've been reviewing other beers today, and my palate was still super, super dry from the last beer that we just drank, and something like this is like bringing it back to like being super juicy again. If that makes any sense. The taste falls and nose with this one. There's tons of stone fruit. It's like apricot -y, peachy, um, pineapple. This one isn't... Like I was waiting for like some sort of like hot bite. It's not there. There's a little bit of like that kind of citrusy orange um, like zest, but it doesn't dig into your tongue at all. Um, this is much less aggressive just because I'm thinking about it than the other beers we've had today. Um, this is crazy lighter, much juicier, much easier um, on your palate, which is awesome. I think, I think this beer is near eight and a half percent. I mean, you don't taste any booze at all. It's so easy drinking. It's crazy. It's delicious. I don't think this is quite on that level. Like, Heavy Hands really, like, blew my mind. I was like, wow, this beer is insane. Um, this beer is really, really good. The flavors are all there. It's just, it's not as intense and not as in your face. So I don't think I'm reacting to it as, like, holy shit, the way that I did that beer. But this beer is still amazing. Even as it warms in my hand, there's a nice, like, it gets that bready kind of sweet. Um, it's not, <laughs> I've said like sourdough bread before, but it's like 
I don't want to say sourdough bread for this, but it's like this kind of white bready kind of thing that balances the hops out. This is so easy drinking. I know I've said that already, but it is. I love how tropical it is. I know a lot of times I say I'm really into like that mix between East Coast, West Coast, where you get all those crazy like New England juice flavors, but then you get smacked in the face with like that crazy hop bite. This doesn't have that, but I'm okay with that. I think because I've had a couple beers already that have that and a break from that right now is like really, really refreshing. So um, this is another A beer for me. It's like 94. I love this. Like I said, everything I've had from Spindle Tap. Like, if you guys are in Texas, you have to be drinking this beer, right? What else would you be drinking that's in Texas that's hoppy? I don't know a whole lot of Texas breweries, but if you're near there and you're not drinking Spindle Tap, that needs to change. You need to have their beer. They're all fantastic. Yeah, 94. 94 for number 34. <laughs> so that's Juiced in from Spindle Tap. Dustin, I'm super stoked that you shared this. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.